in security aurora 17.4 written path workflow provides tables and visions to identify if signal is following ideal written path or not in this video i'll go over step by step process of written path analysis on parallel data buses we'll also going to analyze simulation results and for that i'm going to use security aurora license to know more about this license you can visit the link in the description so let's get started in the first step we will open security aurora 17.4 from cadence program menu now you have to select a product either security aurora 2 or security aurora and click on okay so open the board file you have to go to file click on open browse where you have saved the board file select the file and click on open button in the next step we have to select return path workflow from workflow manager in your case if workflow manager is not opened yet you can go to analyze and click on workflow manager from here once the workflow manager is open you have to click on drop down menu and from here you have to select return path workflow all right so first option that we got on return path workflow is set reference net in this option you have to select the net which is the return path of signal that you are going to simulate in our case it is ground now after setting the reference net next step is to select all the signals we wanted to analyze for return path and that we are going to select through select directed group link so directed groups are groups of signal between two components we call them start and end components in our case it is u7 which is a fpga controller and xu2 which is a dim module connector so from this directed group selection window here you have to select start component which will be u7 so we'll just search u7 here and select it and for end component it will be xu2 and here we go we can see all the entry of start and end components and all the net names between these two components now here we have to select which type of signals we wanted to include in the simulation in our case we want to simulate for single ended and multi drop so we will uncheck differential and point to point signals and we wanted to apply selections to all workflows now in the next step i am just going to show you how to add filter to select particular nets so as of now we have selected 94 x nets for return path analysis i just wanted to do this analysis for all the data buses to do that i'm just going to put a filter here here we go now we have to uncheck this right click and click over select all visible nets only here we go so we have selected all the 64 bits of data bus after that click over create button apply and okay all right till here we have selected reference net group of signals for analysis now we are good to go for starting the simulation to do that you have to click over start analysis button from workflow menu now it will ask you wanted to simulate the whole board or only the section which has these tracks so in our case the board is really large it will take lot of time to simulate so we'll continue with the section which has all the signals that we have selected and click on yes button once the simulation is done which you can verify by green marker next to start analysis link in the next step we are going to see simulation results to do that you have to click over view return path table and the simulation table will open at the right hand side here we can see couple of useful columns which has quality factor start return pin end pin and end return pins now here return path quality factor is ratio of actual loop inductance and ideal loop inductance so if quality factor is approximately 1 or little bit around it that means your return path is ideal but in this case as you can see the quality factor is greater than 1 that means return path is non ideal something is wrong with the return path that we need to find out so we can simply sort this table in the form of decreasing order by double clicking over quality factor so as of now you can see the parallel data 22 has maximum quality factor now to view the simulation results we have to click over start simulation in the vision column here we go once the simulation is done you can go to visibility tab and from here you have to uncheck all the layers now from here we'll get two option vision net and vision layer vision net will be parallel data 22 and vision layer will be the reference plane underneath so as you can see so if i'll enable layer 3 here we can see the parallel data 22 track i'm just going to select it first we have to click on all of and select the net here we go so this is our parallel data 22 bus now go back to visibility and enable vias so as you can see 
it is transitioning from layer 3 to layer 7 and from layer 7 it is connected to FPGA controller. So for these two signal layers we have L2 ground and L8 ground as a return path. So first we'll see the simulation results for L2 ground 1. Here we go. So it has maximum current density of 34 ampere per mm square and similarly you can check for layer 8 ground 2 and it has maximum current density of 5.8 ampere per mm square. So as we have discussed in previous videos of return path analysis, you have to apply the same method to reduce loop inductance. And those methods can be adding stitching VRs closer to VRs, putting decoupling capacitors in case of reference plane change and make sure there is no plane cutout where the signal is traveling. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.